The 4Safe SW is a safety sensor using active infrared technology designed for swing doors. You can find all the elements needed for the installation of the 4Safe in the box. First of all, remove the front lens to access the modules. To detach the module from the profile, insert a flathead screwdriver under the white clip and undo it using a levering motion. Do the same with the second clip. Take the module out of the profile. Use your wire cutter to remove the plastic part of one end cap. You only need to cut it on the hinge side to allow the power cable to go through. Place the end cap on the profile and tighten the fixation screw. Place the profile on the door as close as possible to the leading edge. Remember to keep a 2cm margin for the second end cap. Mark the position of the small holes. Remove the profile and pre-drill the holes for the fixation screws with a 4mm bit. Fix the profile to the door leaf using the provided screws. Drill a hole through the door frame using a 10mm bit. Take the slave cable with the black plug and pass it through the hole to the other side of the door. Take the flexible tube and determine how long it should be in order to reach the door controller. Cut the surplus to avoid undesired detection Pass the power cable with the white plug through the flexible tube. Tighten the flexible tube using the cable cap and pass through the rest of the power cable towards the door controller. The emitter is marked with a TX label. The receiver is the optical lens next to the dip switches. The emitter always needs to be placed on both edges of the door. Good to know! Make sure the white clips are placed correctly to allow for the correct placement of the module. Otherwise, turn the supporting clips as shown. Insert the power cable with the white plug in the connector of the module. You can squeeze the cable in the supporting clips to prevent it from masking the optical parts. You can now clip the master module into the profile. Plug the slave cable with the black plug coming from the other door side in the front connector of the module. Lock the flexible tube in the end cap. Move the module sideways in order to place it as close to the leading edge as possible. 
Plug the slave cable with the black plug into the first module. Fold the cable into the profile. Take a flathead screwdriver and push on the supporting clips to fasten the module. Cut the power cable to the right lengths. Strip the wires and connect them according to the wiring diagram in the user's guide. Connect green and brown to the power supply of the door controller. Connect yellow and white or black to the stop command of the door. Connect pink and grey or violet to the reopen command of the door. Connect red and blue to the test terminal of the door controller. Polarity is important. Connect the red wire to the positive pole and the blue wire to the negative pole. Now that the sensor is mounted correctly, let's proceed to the dip switch settings. Make sure the setting of dip switch 1 is correct on all modules according to the door side. Switch the first dip to off in order to ensure the reopening function. Make sure the first dip of the outer modules is set to on in order to ensure the stop function. Make sure to alternate the frequencies of the modules next to each other by alternating the position of the second dip switch. For particular environments, dip switches 3 and 4 can be used. In this case, please refer to the user's guide. Remember to always confirm the modification of a dip switch position by pressing the button for more than 3 seconds. A long push on the master module confirms the dip switch settings of all modules. Press shortly on the button to start a calibration. Make sure to stay out of the detection field during a calibration. If the sensor flashes red-green and then stops flashing, the module is calibrated correctly. If the sensor flashes green, slowly turn the screw clockwise until the sensor flashes red-green. Please turn the screw at a speed of one click per second. The sensor will then blink red and green. Stop turning the screw and the LED will go off. If the sensor flashes red, slowly turn the screw the other way round. A short push on the button of the master will launch a calibration on all the modules. By doing this, all modules will start flashing. Once the calibration is correct on all modules, check the correct positioning of the safety field by doing a test. If necessary, adjust the tilt angle of the sensor by turning the angle adjustment screw. By turning the screw clockwise, you move the detection field closer to the door. By turning the screw counterclockwise, you move the detection field away from the door. After changing the angle, always launch a new calibration and test the correct positioning of the detection field. Place the front face back on the profile. You can now remove the protection film from the front face. Place the second end cap and tighten the fixation screw.
On a double leaf door, repeat the same operations on the second leaf. Congratulations! The installation was successful. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel.